Yo, JD here, and as you can see, we're back for another 2018 video here today. And I'm doing this because I thought this was something that's quite interesting to see actually what is the fastest car in a straight line, something I didn't actually test on last year's game or even the previous games before. So we're going to go around Mexico here today, and we're just going to literally just run through the car. It should be quite a short video and just see how fast they are. I did quite a few attempts per car to try and get a good launch off the corners. This is with default setups so and no changes or anything at all in time trial. And we're going to be trying changing gears at the right points. It's in kilometers per hour, as you see, because most of the audience will be using kilometers per hour. And we're going to see at the bottom right hand side, see how fast this goes. So this goes 337 miles per hour, or kilometers per hour, sorry. Uh, as I said, with a default setup with one more wings, obviously it'd be going a fair amount quicker, but we'll just be interested to see what is actually faster because this year currently the Ferrari is the fastest car on the straight line. So we're getting a good exit coming off the final turn here, shift up into seventh and using DRS as early as possible. And on the bottom right side, I was expecting this to be a, a fair amount, a little bit quicker than the Mercedes. So it's 337 to beat. And it's just one kilometer per hour faster and I tried so hard the Mercedes to try and match that and I couldn't get above 337 and 338 before I was consistently getting that each time so it seems one kilometer per hour so there's not really much difference between the Ferrari and the Mercedes now we're in the Red Bull and I'm expecting this to be a fair amount slower in the straight line as Red Bull always always <laughs> seem to complain on the team radio that is a fair amount slower on the straight line so we'll be able to see what kilometer per hour this is going to get and you can see as expected, 330 kilometers per hour was the max. A good seven to eight miles per, uh, kilometers per hour slower than the two big teams ahead of them. And now we've got the Force India, which with the Mercedes engine is usually very, very slippery in the straight line. So I was very interested to see this. And again, tested this over 10 times for each car. And this is the best I got on each one, all fairly consistent. And you can see the speed, 339. 339 kilometers per hour in the Force India, which is faster than the Ferrari by a kilometer per hour, which I was not expecting at all. So that is a very, very surprising error. But now we've got the Williams again with a Mercedes engine, but they are struggling quite a bit this year. So we'll be able to see what kind of speed they have shifting up through the right time and just focusing on the bottom right hand side of the page. See, three, three, four, five. 337 just dipped into 337 kilometers per hour so they are quite close apart from what was it the red bull and another car i believe as well it was very very close so far i can see now we're in the Renault, which i'm using for my career mode unfortunately my next episode will be out on thursday because it's my birthday tomorrow so thank you very much for people who said that already but now just focusing on this is see what kind of speed you have with the Renault engine. You can see I don't think it's going to match the Ferrari on Mercedes. You can see 334 kilometers per hour. So a little bit down on most of the other teams in a straight line. And now we've got the Toro Rosso Honda engine. So the first of the Honda cars. Again, this is very interesting to see this and see how fast this was actually in a straight line. Because they sometimes I have really good performances, sometimes I have bad performances. But it's shifting at the right time again. And we'll be able to see now climbing up through the Commons' prowess. It's going to surpass 330 at least. You can see coming through here now 334 Commons' prowess. So it's the same as the Renault in a straight line, which is uh, yeah, interesting to say the least. And now I've got the Ferrari Haas on board here and getting a nice exit coming off here. Obviously, the handling is going to be quite different for the cars, which really makes up a difference in that time, but that's much harder to test. And perhaps we can do it at a later stage in the game. But for now, default setup, 6-6 six, six wings going down this huge straight at Mexico. And again, it's 334 kilometers per hour. So those teams are very, very equal, those three teams. And now we have the McLaren Renault going down the straight line. And this year, McLaren have really, really struggled. So again, I was interested to see what kind of power output this has now with the new Renault engine. Shifting at the right time, getting them felt like I got a very nice exit off that last corner. But we'll be able to see on the speed going down the straight, it can only go 328 kilometers per hour. So that is a good chunk slower, pretty much the next slowest, and over 11 kilometers an hour slower than the Force India in the straight line. So that is 
a fair big difference. And you can see now, last car on board, we've got the Sauber Ferrari, and I'm expecting this to be much faster, or faster than <laughs> the McLaren Honda at least. Going down this straight, this is going to be the last car in our list, already passing the McLaren on speed, and you can see 335 kilometers per hour. So that is my short test of the speed. I, as I said, I did many attempts in each of them. I felt like I very, got a very good exit and it was quite consistent each time. Ferrari being the quickest and McLaren being the slowest. I'll put it in a list here now of the order. Hopefully you enjoyed this and it's quite useful for you. Let me know for future video ideas. As I said, career mode coming this Thursday instead of tomorrow because it's my birthday. But thank you so much for the support recently and I will catch you next time. Peace.